two, Joey Messino. Well, he's made light work of that wide draw. He's cutting across the uh, face of the field and he'll be the early leader. Worthing's up there with power player and they're followed by Breaking Dawn. A length off those is Strato. Back on the inside, Clasco Rock, then Miss Pelier in midfield, followed Made My Point. Two lengths away to uh, Fortune Knight and uh, back last as they uh, work down to the 1,000 and uh, 50 metre mark. Here was the top weight. Happy guys, the late scratching 11. I hope he prints on Vets advice at the start as they work to the end of the back straight 900 to go Joey Messino and Josh Adams leads right there in company with it though is Worthing two and a half power play a lovely run third they're followed by breaking dawn a length Clasco Rock a half to its outside Estrado a length and a half Miss Pelier on the outside have made my point who's making ground against the rail they're followed Fortune Knight and uh, racing down to the 500 metres back last is Happy Guys they come to the corner Joey Messino and Worthing around those power players strongly. Uh, there followed Clasco Rock made my point up the inside, then Breaking Dawn, Estrado, Miss Pelier, Fortune Knight right down the outside. Still Joey Messino with a good kick, 2.50 left to go. Power player, Breaking Dawn coming strongly and up the inside has made my point. Power player goes to the lead. Clasco Rock is there. Power player, Clasco Rock, Breaking Dawn made my point up the inside. Clasco Rock is brave and on the outside, Breaking Dawn will get them right on the line. Breaking Dawn and Noel Harris from Clasco Rock power player made my point they lined up Estrada was right there out wide a fortune night not far off them happy guys and uh, just in front of that was Joey Messino they were followed by Miss Pelea not today and knocking up to run last was uh, Worthing in the late scratching number 11 a uh, Hopi Prince great finish to the first leg of the uh, quaddy that's uh, NGH at his brilliant best gets the best out of breaking dawn Close to the post will get over the top of Clasco Rock, the Yeruffy for the race. That'll be a second. And the Lodge Real Estate 1600 and first leg of the Quaddy today goes the way of nine, Breaking Dawn. That's the one you need on your Quaddy ticket and seemingly nine, ten, eight and six for the first four, but we do need that to confirm just to be 100% on it and official. But a good contest, it really was. Just a little tight at stages as well and a good driving go to the line. Noel Harris with breaking dawn the outside, the winner. Late scratching the 11, a Hopi Prince. Moving forward for the second one at Rose Hill in Sydney. Now this one is uh, for the two-year-olds. There's only two of these have had uh, a race day appearance. Uh, the one and the two have had uh, one run apiece. Uh, so the nine is... Um, Therefore, on debut, the filly by Snitzel won a trial on the 10th of December. Gerald Ryan trains, and it's back nicely at $4.50 and $4.60, but uh, certainly uh, not the easiest to pick out the winner in here. With the five on debut, a colt by Wanted won its only trial on the 2nd of December. Gay Waterhouse has that one, along with the two horse, who's had a run and was third on the Kensington track on the 7th of December. So 1,100 metres for the two-year-olds. A treble starts right here. It'll take you to race number four and then race number five from Rose Hill is the first leg of the quaddy. Ten minutes to six o'clock for the quaddy to get going in Sydney. Here's Mark Sheen. And they're ready to go. Two-year-olds all locked away for race number two. Set to go off and racing. Lucky Coin came out slowly. And uh, jumping out quite well was uh, Bam Kuken has gone through and Francesco is showing good speed as well. But Bam Kuken on the outside, just in front of Francesco, followed by Cyclone.